Hi, welcome to session 8 where I share my entire course project. Uh, my course project was a bike sharing system that um, is supposed to be owned and in initiated uh, by an advocacy group where they will develop an uh, information system to support operations of the bike sharing system. So the bike sharing system will help people to rent bicycles and return them efficiently. And by obtaining a manual, an annual membership, the bike user will pay like an annual fee of $70. And for those, for those who would not like to obtain a long-term membership, there, there, will be, uh, prov there will be provision of uh, other payment options. And for instance, there will be day users, uh, weekly users, monthly users, yeah, and yearly subscribers. So um, the steps I have taken to ensure in this project are like it's going to be an information system and it's a bike sharing information system and basically the entire idea of having a bike sharing information system is to ensure that there is operational efficiency. And so I have introduced the idea of smart cards where the annual members will be able to check in and check out using smart cards where they will pay once you decide to be an annual subscriber you subscribe you pay uh, the annual fee and then you get a smart smart card so when you go to the kiosk where the bikes will be at you just uh, go with your smart card and you swipe your card and you get access to a bike and so yeah that's one of the ways that i have one of the ways that uh, one of the things that I have introduced to ensure that there will be operational efficiency the other thing is that um, there will be the use of GPRS where the information systems will, the information system will collect information through general packet radio service also known as GPRS which will allow real-time monitoring of occupancy rates at every station and the bikes will be equipped with GPS so that their movement through the network can be monitored and these will also help to prevent theft um, I have also uh, ensured that there will be security because one of the risks that we face uh, in having a, an information a bike sharing information system is the risks of being cyber attacks and so one of the ways that one of the things that will be done to ensure that there is uh, security, that the information system is secure and that the customer data is secure because customers will be able to key in their data. You will key in your credit card number, your debit card number, your name and uh, personal details and this means that inform customers' information may be at risk. So to ensure that there is security to ensure that uh, all data is stored in the cloud and it will be stored in encrypted form. Also, the employees will be trained and equipped on, with skills on how to spot and deal with security risks. So the rationale behind the solutions I have proposed is, yeah, so to ensure to avoid data breaches or intrusion, the bike sharing company will ensure that all customer data is encrypted, especially payment data such as credit card information. Yeah, so majorly because of how um, crucial customer data is and how risky it is exposing customers' information out there. So uh, the rationale behind uh, encrypting customer data is just to protect the clients that yeah that will yeah the clients of the bike sharing systems and the car the company will also constantly monitor data access to ensure that there are no intruders that are spying on the company operations um, the company will train employees to spot security threats and deal with them uh, uh, According to Risa, research shows that most of, more, the most common reason for security uh, threats and risks in a firm is due to lack of awareness, especially for employees. So the reason for training will just to be to ensure that employees are properly trained, they are aware of 
how security risks look like and if they spot any threat any risk they can be able to deal with that and um to save the whole company the entire menace that will come from a data breach so there are the steps there there are steps that must be taken to complete the is development a uh, major tasks and and steps that will be taken to ensure that this uh, system is complete include number one there will be the uh, software planning and development and then there will be the purchase of uh, and connection of hardware there will be purchase of, of hardware and then there will be purchase of the software and then now the hardware and the software will be connected there will be a pilot test a pilot test is very necessary in ensuring that uh, just helping us identify and see the problems that in the future problems that may arise and to identify whether the system our operational system is gonna be is going to work well whether it's going to be efficient whether it's actually a viable project so a pilot test is is very crucial and will be done uh, must be is it's a step that must be taken and also there will be commercialization and marketing so for us to obtain customers of the bike sharing system there must be some marketing and the commercialization of the entire system that once it has been put together and then there will be registration of subscribers and then the service will just commence so yes uh that is it for t for our bike sharing system yeah that's it for the bike sharing system and thank you for being here until next time